Good evening. Hi. We got Elizabeth and McKay. Hello. At least that's what I'm seeing. Um, Back. My, okay. My uh, internet's been spotty for whatever silly reason, so we'll, um, uh, we may do, we'll keep talking because I, I call in by the phone, which I know is more reliable. So, uh, so for tonight, uh, what I, uh, or someone have to go in to make sure um, all the officers all were in the, office system. in the system and I didn't have any problem. Okay. And, and do you know whether the have they as a new project And all and, and such try to get in to make sure that she has uh to see most things as well. Um and just to make sure make sure that he can. Uh, same thing for uh, um CMY Biz Talkers. It's just, you can get in and see things as the VPE and all that. Okay. I did see the link I haven't actually tried to get in. All right. All right. So I would recommend that you. Um, I'll do that right, right now. But I would say, yeah. Well, you can if you want. If you weren't the VPE last year, and then you had the elections come J July first, I think Toastmasters International is going to be looking for, you know, the new officers to be put in there. And if you're not, then you won't have, you know, necessarily. The base camp privileges and all of that to be looking at what everyone else is doing. And right. So, I, um, I did take a look, and it sure looked like I, I had that I could log. Yeah, I can log in as base. It was beginning of July, and, you know, maybe. His people didn't do that. Um, okay. Well, uh, uh, tonight, what I thought questions or any topics you guys really want to hit on specifically, uh, McKay, I'll let you go first. Each is out of pathways and both of the speakers evaluation form and had worked on the worksheets and really extremely valuable so we're we're excited to get get going with it great that's great to hear uh, because you, you you call in for these things um, I, you know I have not heard and, and Ed and, and, and Greg as well of the I'll guys even know what Pathways is. Do you remember that I even came there? Um, and not that I mean, if they're not, they're not. But just even say, hey, have you guys even tried? Yes or no? So I'm glad to hear that uh, both you got, you know, both your clubs are, are doing well uh, on that regard. Elizabeth, anything that you wanted to make sure we, we covered or question or concern nope, that you might have? I'm doing fine. Okay. Well, let's, um, we'll see how long my connection holds up here. Let me go to uh, share screen and share desktop two, share screen. And all right, let's see if I can get into, uh, I said, <laughs> come on. Postmasters.org. And I reset my router so I don't, I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm here. I'm going to go 
to well, I'll, I'll log in first, I guess. Make my screen a little larger. Come on. Oh, come on. Log in. That's logging in. Do, 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 do. So when I went through um, myself, I had, um, they had, I missed a, a class, if you will, about the, the badges uh, that, you know, that I can get into as a pathways guide. And, um, and I, I went and took that and then I found some other, you know, Q and A about it. And then I went on other places, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, there wasn't as much information about, um, about, uh, how the badges work, but I'll go through what, what there is as soon as I can log in here. So obviously I think you, as you guys know, there are really, really two sets of badges for the achievements. So when you get, you know, level one, you know, two, three, four, that's when you get a badge. And so that's one kind of a badge. And that's when, when it's going to come up as, um, oh, like a, uh, like a little one, two, three, you know, a level one, level two, level three uh, kind of a thing. And, and that will happen when you, when the uh, VPE, when the base camp manager, you know, signs off on the level. So that's, those happen, if you will, automatically as part of, uh, as part of the, uh, as part of getting the level. The other thing that, that happens is, like, if I go to my, right now it's not going to show up because I haven't started it, but um, Elizabeth should see it if she looks at somebody else. But if I go to, come on, my, if I go to my badges and say view my badges, actually I should be able to do this myself. If I go to my badges, which is where badges are, there's nothing there. But if I go to, uh, let's see, uh, what's Rick's last name, uh, Green, Elizabeth? With an e. I think, uh, Rick Green, here we go, club president. So here's how, here's how you can go see what anyone, depending on how they have it set up, anyone can go see anyone else in their club, what their badges are, you know, if they're kind of in the system. So right now I have Rick Green and I'm going to select Rick Green and, and I come to his base camp profile and it's going to be whatever, you know, kind of thing he, he puts in there to, to, to see for the public, if you will. I go to his ePortfolio and in his ePortfolio, there's documents and badges. The documents is where he would have uploaded uh, evaluation forms or, you know, any other documents that he wanted to have in his base camp uh, for, you know, for storage, right. if you will. No one else can get in to look at that. So even though you can see this document, if I click on the, the document tile, it's not going to, it's not going to show me anything. So, um, but it's there anyway, because it's on this page, but you can see here for badges, he has one badge. So if I click on this badge, we will see, boom, he has this effective coaching activated so this badge pops up once you've given your icebreaker so once you've done your icebreaker and you've gone in and said yes i've completed my icebreaker then whatever um path you're on that the i you know the, the merit badge for that if you will uh, for that shows up and you'll notice it's slightly faded and it's going to stay slightly faded until you complete the entire path and then it becomes you know um like clarity and all of a sudden it'll become clear, you know, all of a sudden once it's, once, once you do that, but this lets you know that the person is working on effective coaching and that he has done uh, the icebreaker and you at least know that much. And then I'm going to, I was going to try to find, and I apologize, I should have been uh, a little better prepared. Um, I'm just going to try to pop up a, uh, um, now what category, what category, go ahead. 
Um, is this different? These are different than the level badges. Is this a, or is this in the same category as the level badges? This is in the same level as the category, uh, the the, uh, okay. the um, category badges, and it's it's really just a um, um, a way so that. You as a VPE, or frankly anybody, but you get to know what path he's working on, right? So as he's going along, you can say, "Oh, okay, he's doing effective coaching." I, as a base camp manager, can go look for, you know, other stuff. Or there's two people working on effective coaching. I can make sure they're linked up, or vice versa. Rick can see, "Oh, I didn't realize you're working on effective coaching, also, um, you know, Elizabeth." So it's really just a way for people to know what path every, you know, a, a particular person, you know, is, um, you know, is working on, and. Uh, when he completes his level one, then a, I'm going to try to pop up. So, so, so you can see these are the, these are the paths, obviously, and he has effective coaching. And when it's done somewhere on here, um, it'll be this, it'll be like a brighter color indicating like, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's completed it. Okay. Um, and I'm just trying to find, come on, my thing is so slow. Um, and so, again, when he completes the icebreaker, that's when this pops up. When level one's completed and you put it in, then a, I'm trying to get to a, uh, a level one badge here. Come on. I'm not even using the internet. It's just a stupid thing here. All right. Let me go to another one. Um, uh, then it'll be like a level one and, and, and so forth. So when that happens, um, the, uh, if you did more than one level one, let's say you're working on your, um, you know, you, 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 you completed one path or you started another path. You can do two paths in parallel if you want. There's nothing that prevents uh, someone from doing that. So if you wanted to, um, yeah, here's what I wanted. Um, so I'll make it just a little bit larger here. So when he completes happen is when you complete your level your second level one this badge here will have a little number two in it also and it can you have two level one okay you won't know for what what where you are in terms of like suppose you have two level ones two level twos but only one level three you have but you don't know for which one, but you at least know. So these all happen, like I say, kind of automatically. When Q and A there is, it's like, they do have a tutorial right here um, about how you request feedback and how you provide feedback. So when you're looking for badges, if you're not looking for the achievement badges, but the feedback badges, do a search about feedback that, that we've seen. If it's the, you know, achievement badges, you know, then you look for achievement. Just look, searching for badges, will get you, you know, we'll get you both, if you will. And I'm waiting for this to pop up here. But if you go to these, um, they will tell you uh, how you go about doing it. But basically, if you want someone to provide feedback, period, uh, this is what this, this um, uh, tutorial is about. But basically, 
you just like it, like like it, like I have here. I basically can just uh, share feedback with with Rick, you know, on his page, or I can also, you know, go to his page like I was and ask him, hey, would you provide uh, provide me feedback, you know, on my speech? I would appreciate it, and then I can provide the feedback, and you know, he can decide whether it's visible for everyone to to look at or you know or or just him. So it works both ways. Either you can ask people for feedback, and you might get that from, um, you know, I get that kind of thing asked. And Elizabeth and McKay, you would also. A new person says, "Hey, um, I really value your, your your feedback. Could you give me some?" And and you could do it that way. Vice versa, you could also just uh, provide feedback on your own. You just think that's such a fantastic speech. You want to provide feedback, and if this thing will ever get back to my uh, my page, and I see that I'm losing. I got a blinking thing saying what? Blinking thing saying probably my connection is weak. Um, meeting controls. So what's, come on. So, but when you provide the, when you, um, we'll see if this thing ever pops back. But when you want to give feedback, you can give one of um, a few types of badges. And maybe, well, maybe if I could use the, um, hang on, let me go back to uh, the, uh, when I visited all you guys, I had the uh, Pathways facility, given that I'm not getting my other thing here. Come on. Uh, Ralph Smedley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So, um, so the achievement badges we, we've talked about. You can also you also get a certificate. That, you know the the base camp manager. You know can really want to make sure they get a certificate for having completed a level or having completed a path. And you know it's like person. So I don't need another piece of paper in my office, you know. <laughs> that no one's going to look at to see that I that I've got. I mean, uh, but these ones over here, these four here, um, if you will, are for uh, different uh, feedback that you can give people. So you might, and I forget which ones they are, and I'm trying to pull up the thing, obviously, but. Um, uh, but it might be for inspirational. So if you wanted to say that was such an in inspirational speech, you can quote, give them this uh, badge. You say, I want to give you this badge. Or if it was an outstanding speech, you give them a star. Uh, if I think this is inspirational. If it were, I forget what the four of them now are, but you just go ahead and give it to them. What I tried to find out was, you know, is there any, you know, is there any criteria? It's like, well, what 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 lets me decide that you should get a um a uh you know a badge i mean you know what's the what's the criteria for that and uh the answer was i couldn't find any i don't find anything in the q and a or any guidance documents or anything that says do this for the uh, uh, uh you know for the badges is. So, internet connections unstable. So, I guess you can give them. I'll say willy nilly, and um, and I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I just mean like if someone thinks it's inspirational, they can give you a badge. Now, I suppose. I guess my theory is that they don't have as much meaning per se. Because what does it mean to get the badge? That particular person thought it was worthwhile, you know. You know, others, you know, others didn't. So what's the? There's no criteria for it like there is for evaluations. Um, and, I'm, and this is the. I'm just pulling up the uh, the feedback thing. As you can see, it's actually should be talking. There should be something that pops up here, and my connection's uh, weak enough that it's not. Uh, 
it's not doing it. But anyway, if you go to, you know, the my feedback, I'm just gonna close it. If you go to um, my feedback and then click on that, it'll tell tell you about the different uh, types of badges and what and, and what they mean. But basically, it's just a way of uh, of telling someone. And I suppose you know a person could go around saying, "Hey, could someone give me an inspirational badge, or can someone give me a you know well done badge, or whatever?" So um, uh, I'm not quite sure how to manage it. I guess is my bottom line. So I would say for each club, I guess my recommendation would be is um, I don't want to inhibit anyone from from giving a badge, but I think or, or that one person gets it all the time because everyone you know he requests and people give it to him. So I guess I would say it's just to say, hey, if you really think a speech is you know either inspirational or or um, uh, uh, well done or whatever. Here's the, these badges. Here's what they are. One should expect it. It shouldn't be something you try. the Mohawk Valley do you know do stuff like that for example and I think this is just another way of doing that in general and and, and they'll have it in your um, uh, in your uh, in your profile so it's nothing really more than that I think it's a nice you know overly worry about it too much um, I think the more important thing is the feedback itself and so I think the feature of you know looking for feedback is good so if I think let me just see if Elizabeth is in here. Um, yes, so Elizabeth Gates is in here, so I could go to her um, her path and you know and give you know, give feedback give feedback there. And so here's the email. This is where the email becomes important because that's where you're going to be able to email her to say, hey, look at my uh, you know, I've completed a level because you're the base camp manager or you know whatever else uh, we want to be able to do that. And then again, on the feedback side, this is where I could just go ahead and start sharing my feedback. I can attach a file if I want to, and here's where I could give a badge. And I'm just going to click on this um, so it can pop up with the, hopefully it'll pop up with the badges are. But I think like most things, the feedback I think is what's, uh, what's most useful. But it's important, I think, for everyone to understand what are these badges and distinguish the um, attaboys from the uh, achievement levels, if you will. So in, in my Boy Scout example, you got, you know, merit badges for, you know, doing some things, but you got the uh, Starlight Eagle badges when you actually, you know, advanced in, uh, you know, advanced in rank. And this thing is deciding that, um, yeah, I don't have a, enough bandwidth. So anyway, here's where you could go to give the badge, but you don't have to. And that's the, and I apologize, I. I don't know why I have another weak connection um, that I can't show you more, but it's easy enough for you to go in, like I say, under the, under the feedback page, look for up right here in the discussion to go to those tutorials about requesting feedback and providing feedback and the optional if someone wants to, um, you know, award a badge. So uh, any, I'll say any questions about that, given I haven't been able to show you much about that. No, not for me. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm just going through here. Yeah, this is just on the on the level one what you need to do for do for level one. So um, Elizabeth, has anyone well actually any of you three, has anyone done more than the icebreaker? In other words, has anyone done started the evaluation and feedback where they've given a five and the seven the second speech if you will um and then um you know gotten an evaluation and, and maybe even done a third speech i guess no we we have uh, two icebreakers completed that's it okay 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 and mckay has anyone done an icebreaker for your group yet not yet oh icebreaker two icebreakers okay. 
two icebreakers. Okay. And Greg, is anyone, I know you're muted. Uh, has anyone done an icebreaker yet for your club or scheduled to? I'm waiting for Greg to come off mute. I know how that is. Your phone goes, you know, then you got to type in the code and you got to do it. So if Greg comes back, I'll let him jump in. Um, so I, again, as we move along, um, you know, as they do, let me know and we'll just kind of see how things progress relative to the next, uh, you know, the next thing, uh, you know, they need to do. So um, that's really all I wanted to cover uh, today. I mean, I know it's not much, but, uh, you know, frankly, in my mind, until we get to um, more people, you know, you know, online and getting through more of the areas, uh, in my mind, there's not a whole lot more to talk about other than as you as base camp managers get it in to look for people. And like I say, the search up here is how you can search to find, uh, if you know, you got to know people's names, you know, in your club. And let me just see if I did Roman or just actually I haven't tried to do, and it's not popping up. Just trying to see if it'll pop. Oh yeah, here we go. So I did Roman orders again in that, <clears throat> this search window is, really a global search on almost anything anywhere, regardless of where, what page you're on here, this global search is everywhere, which is good if you're just looking in general, it's bad if you wanna to try to find, well, where is it you know, elsewhere? But here's all the people um, that right now that you know, it's showing. So, you know, got Karen Ruth in as the club secretary, got, he's, these are the officers. So we got the officers in, um, if I do show more, um, then it's showing the other people who are in. So I'm in, Nancy's in, uh, base camp manager is in, Brian Weagle, Julie Medler. So right now, um, it's 10 people. So we've got 10 people in uh, Roman orders that are in the system and have chosen a path. I think you don't show up. I'm not sure. I don't think you show up here uh, until you um till you've done till, you, till you've done the uh, quiz yeah, that, kind of a thing so that's one reason we want people yeah, that's, that's, the, Elizabeth. that's the number that i have so that they've all picked a path right and so um that's and that's where for all of the clubs by picking a path even though you may not start for a while but if you want to then give feedback if i want to give feedback to rick because he's given his uh icebreaker I'm not really in a position to do that until I get, you know, myself set up in base camp. So you, you kind of got to get yourself set up in base camp, even if you're not going to progress forward, so you can interact with the other members of your clubs that are moving, you know, that are moving forward. So, it, you know, it's, it's not just for you. I'm like, well, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to finish up my old, uh, the old path first. So what do I care about, you know, pathways? Well, you care because this is a way for you to be interacting with the people who are doing uh, pathways and to be able to give that feedback or to give the badges or you know to um, uh, see who the officers are and email them or whatever whatever the case might be so that's um, uh, that's what you know why that's why that's important um, so that's the other uh, thing so again I just want to emphasize this this global search but again I show up now Elizabeth if I go back to being a pathways and if I go back and quote my pathways um, uh, club, if you will, then I won't show up. I only show up when I've signed when I've signed into base camp under that club. And if I don't change back when I leave, I remain in that club till I go back in. So for people who are, might be in more than one club, uh, just something to keep in mind in the future. All right, well, I'm a cheapskate and don't want to pay $14.99 a month for unlimited minutes for, for Zoom. So we've got uh, 10 minutes left. Um, uh, anything else that you guys want to cover or anything to note or, any, or, or something you want to talk about uh, at, our next, uh, uh, at our next Zoom meeting? Not me. Okay. Um, uh, Greg, uh, I still see you're muted. Uh, if you want, you know, uh, unmute yourself and, you know, uh, and let us know. Um, the, uh, uh, oh, come on. Um, 
again, I, the more I, the more we can encourage people just to get in. I know it's a little daunting, but like once they get in, as I think as McKay said, once you're in, you can see what's the tools that are there, and yeah, you got to navigate around a little bit. Um, uh, you know, and as as I think we all pointed out, that uh, tutorial on how to give feet on how to do it in the evaluation that in itself is is almost worth the price of admission to get into uh, to get into base camp. So I think the more we can uh, help keep um, uh, encouraging people to to do so, uh, have have them do so. And if you can answer, you know, and if you can't answer a question they might have, again, certainly feel free to you know pop it over to me, and uh, we will uh, you know I'll do whatever I can to help. Uh, uh, to help answer that, um, and they're free to go in. Like you know, McKay was doing a great job of just going in under the tutorials and loading up his education transcript with all these all these different things uh, to look at, uh, which is perfectly fine, you know. And for people just to go in to say, "Well, I'm not quite sure. Let me learn a little bit more about you know a, a given path or, or where they are." Well, one thing I could do if you think it's worthwhile is as a I'm not quite sure why they do it this way, but as a pathways guide, I get access to the master Q and A log, and the master Q and A log um, is updated every week because not only does it have the uh, a Q and A for uh, that keeps building up, but when they do these um, online sessions for pathways guides, which includes a live interaction. Um, feedback on on the Q&A. So when they ask these questions, they actually have like on a weekly basis almost a, a, a live uh, Zoom seminar and they'll ask this question and then they'll give an answer and then later on the written answer will show up in this master Q&A, but they do it semi-interactively if you will. And then there's also these um, different demonstrations that were originally done live, you know, for clubs earlier on who, who rolled out pathways sooner, but now are here. And so, in terms of uh, how to do a path, you know, a pathway mentor program demonstration, what that's about, you know, the base camp profile demonstration. Um, I don't know. I mean, these are hot links. Um, I don't know that you would have availability to go in and see these because this is under the pathways um, uh, uh, guide aspect. But I'll send you this Q&A list. It's only a couple megabytes. Um, but I'll send you this Q&A list with my notes. And just see if you can go in and if you can access those tutorials. You'll find them better than me. Um, and if you can't, um, but you think it would be worthwhile, then on one of these, they only last like 10 minutes, you know, or 15. But if there's something in there you say, geez, that would be really good to see, then I'll set up a, um, a, a the next Zoom meeting, I'll set it up with a microphone and all that. So we'll actually just, I'll just have you guys watch it like I watched it, uh, so to speak, and we can actually just see one of those tutorials if you're not able able to see it. So take a look at the Q&A, the, the uh, webinars, if you know, well at the very end, and you can tell by the title kind of what they are and, and such, and the Q&A itself if there's something in there that um, you're interested in. There are like a thousand questions, so you really have to do a, a search in order to find something. Um, uh, but you know, it's it's it actually is 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 pretty good. But you, I know you can't get to the master Q and A log because I can only get it when I go down my little pathways uh, pathways guide. So if you can't, we'll set something up. All right, anything last before the uh, Zoom thing just cuts me off um, without any warning here. Okay, um, I'll set it up again for no one. Is, I mean other than when we've had some interruptions, but no one else has come back and say, I'd like to attend, but Thursdays at seven is a terrible time. Um, and so I'll keep setting them up unless I have a conflict uh, for Thursdays at seven. So I'll set the next one up. I'll send out my notes like I have. Uh, if you want, if anyone else, um, you know, think would, would really want to sit in on one, I don't have a problem. You know, I mean, it's meant for the base camp managers by starting education, but if there's someone else, that really you know wants to uh, I have no problem with that I mean like I'm sharing the master Q and A you know I'm all for when people say I don't need you I've learned it all on my own that's okay by me in part I'm doing these weekly sessions because I have to as a pathway guide whether I kind of want to or not um, but um, uh, and I want to try to make them useful for you guys but I'm not 
trying to make them so you only learn through these, you know, obviously the more empowered everyone is, I think the better off we are. So, all right. Uh, if there's nothing else, I will uh, send out some notes like I typically have done. I'll set up a meeting for next week. When anything comes up, uh, don't hesitate to, uh, uh, to email me or any other questions or concerns. And, you know, keep working on the clubs and let me know how, how things keep progressing. I'm pleased to hear about the progress uh, you guys have made. All right. Thank you all very much. And we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Thanks Scott. We're out.